All right, first thing what you're going to do is you're going to click on DVD Fab. Once you get it open, you're going to go ahead and click on Ripper. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the red X if this is populated. If it's not populated, don't worry about it. Skip that step. Go ahead and press the uh, plus button in the Ripper section. And now navigate to where your movie is. Now this process right here is just getting the information. Now go ahead and click on the uh, green wrench and press copy video and copy audio. And then press OK. All right, now what you're going to do is go ahead and press start. You can just press OK on this. If you want, you can press do not uh, show again. It's up to you. Now, this process here is going to skip through it really fast, but it's going to take a long time on your computer. So just uh, I'm just skipping through it for you. All right, go ahead and press OK. You've done that officially. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and navigate over to the, this location. Pay attention to that location down there in the bottom left. And what you're going to do is you're going to navigate here to that location. You're going to find the movie, the actual video file. And then there it is. Now what you're going to do is, uh, is just highlight it. Now you're going to navigate to where you want to store it. Now you're going to click on it here and you're going to drag it down to where you want to store it. And now you're going to open up Meta Movie. Now what you're going to do is go back to your movie and you're going to drag it up into the movie list column. And now you're going to clean up your movie search. So it just says the actual name of the movie and press search. Now you're going to click on the appropriate movie and go down and press copy. All the information is going to fill up in the metadata. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go up to press file and save. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back and find your movie. And what you're going to do is you're going to press the space bar over the top of it once you click on it. And here you're going to scrub through and make sure that the video is good to go. Just kind of keep looking random places and listen for sound also. And then sit back and enjoy your movie.